When you join the RE Tag and Release project, you receive a tagging kit. The unique number on the cover of the kit is your personal reference number. Please quote this number on tag cards and any other communication you may have with the project. Inside the kit, you'll find a flash stick with all the instructional videos, a digital version of the tag and release form, the recapture form, the priority species list, the RE tagging guide, and a copy of the tagging news. You'll also find a pack of tags with information cards, prepaid postage envelopes, a tag applicator, alcohol swabs, a cleaning brush, a pencil, tape measure, the sassy list, and a bumper sticker. For the tagging project, we have three types of tags. The first tag type we have is the A tag, which is a larger tag that is used for larger sharks and bony fish greater than 60 centimeters. So on this tag, you'll see there is an individual tag number. There is our tagging project cell phone number, our email address, and then the tag number repeated again. The cell phone number and email address are for fellow anglers and members of the public to report a recapture. To be prepared, remove your tag from the tag card. Make sure that the tag number on the tag matches the number on the card. Then you take your tag, place it inside the hollowed out section of the tag applicator, push it down firmly so that the tip of the tag fits tightly into the notch on the tag needle. Once you're done, place your tag applicator where it's easily accessible. The second type of tag we use is a D tag. Now these D tags are very similar to the A tags and they're just a smaller version. But as you can see, there's a small little kink in the barb here and which just provides a little bit extra grip inside the flesh of the fish. D tags are used to tag fish between 30 to 60 centimeters in length, but please remember nothing less than 30 centimeters. These are also used for rays and smaller cat sharks. So on the D tag, again, you'll see there's an individual tag number, the tagging project cell phone number, email address, and then the tag number repeated again. To prepare for tagging, remove your tag off the tag card and make sure that the number on the tag matches that that's on the card. From here, take your tag and place it inside the hollowed out section of the tag applicator needle making sure that the barb of the tag fits snugly in the notch of the tag applicator. Then place your tagging applicator where it's easily accessible. The third type of tag we have for the tagging project is an M tag. These tags are used for larger bullfish and game fish that can't be landed. These tags also have an individual tag number, the tagging project cell phone number and email address, and the tagging number repeated again. The cell phone number and email address are for fellow anglers and members of the public to report a recapture. To prepare for tagging, take your M tag off the tag card and make sure that the tag number matches that on the tag card. With your tags you'll receive a tagging needle. Now to make an M tag applicator you can take an old broomstick, drill a hole the same diameter as the tagging needle, glue the tagging needle into the broomstick so that it's secure and then to fasten your tag onto the tag applicator put the needle of the tag applicator through the hole you can see in the tag like so you can then secure this tag onto the applicator with an elastic band like this. And then place the applicator in a secure position on the boat so that it's ready for tagging. It's important to keep your tagging equipment clean. A fresh tagging wound can easily become infected if you use equipment that's dirty and unsterile. After a tagging session, wash everything with soap and water. 
and use the brush from inside your kit or a pipe cleaner to clean inside the applicator. Equipment can then be sterilized using alcohol or meths. If you're tagging multiple fish in the field, use the alcohol swabs in your kit to wipe down the applicator between each tagging session. New fish, clean applicator.